The guy behind him will leave the program when this year is up. And Rocker, that's a great start for Rowdy Jordan. One pitch, one hit. Fastball into right field. Rowdy Jordan will lead things off. Tanner Allen. Braylon Skinner's going to play left field. Remember Brad Cumbus there. Left fielder got hit by a pitch last night. So here are Rocker's numbers in 19 starts this season. More innings than anybody. Strikeouts 173. Here to Omaha. Breaking pitch. Called strike three. Allen wasn't budging because he couldn't believe it. Jordan not going. This one to Rocker. He'll throw to second, and he throws it in a center field. Errors have killed Vanderbilt here at the College World Series. That is their 11th error. And a lot of times, the shortstop will come over to cover. Instead, it was Nolan, the second baseman, and he threw a fastball by him. Yeah, coverage is with the second baseman, but I want you to look at where Nolan is when he wants to receive this ball. He's on the shortstop side. One here early 2-2, and this one blooped into right field. Thomas is coming, and he will make the play. Tagging is Jordan, and he's in. one nothing State. An unearned run, but they grab the lead first. Got him there. Was that a changeup? A little slider, 84 miles an hour. Bradfield Jr. will be the leadoff guy, like always, but they've changed things around. Javier Vaz has moved up. He'll be in the two spot. The sophomore, 6'2", 235. And you talked about Rocker on four days rest, even shorter. Going on three days rest. Nasty slider. He swings, and he is tagged out by Logan Tanner. Good call, Eddie. He brought that pitcher right back into it on a 2-0 swing that was probably ball three. He did, and then gave him that confidence and goes right to that nasty slider. That's off, and Vass will take the walk. It's a team here in Omaha. He goes, that's high, and there'll be two on with one out. 3-2 on the ground, a short fielded Forsyth. DeBrule, double play, and that's the effectiveness of the Dogs' defense. They've been good all World Series. That misses leadoff walk for Scotty DeBrule. The Rocker back to back walks to start this inning. Skinner aboard. Slow roll to first. Keegan will take it himself and win the race barely. On the ground, and it's fielded by the shortstop. He waits, throws, and the out is recorded, but in from third comes DeBrule. Carter Young fielded it. He had no play at the plate. It's 2 nothing. State. It's a bit of a delayed oh, reaction. they can't give that a violation. They cannot do that. He was standing out it of the box. Not only that, it took out. And Rowdy into left field, and that's down. What a night for Rowdy Jordan. He'll plate Skinner. He'll head into second, and he's saving his best for the biggest. Two for two. It's 3 nothing. Mississippi State. Fellas, that's a heck of a piece of hitting right there. I want you to look at where this pitch is. Down and away. And this one rolled over to second. Gets the charity hop, and he is retired. But two more runs will throw pitch 37. How about Spencer Jones? Underneath it popped up. Cameron James never saw it. Here comes the left fielder, Hard Skinner. And it's the shortstop who ends up with it, Forsyth. Cameron James never saw it, and Skinner didn't pick it up either. Runner goes, Jones, that's outside, and a stolen base for Spencer Jones. Good pitch, right on the fifth, strike three. Second strikeout for Will Bednar. Well, he's struggled in a major way so far in this College World Series. A lot of the state bullpen. One and two, yes, he did. That's a punch out, and that's back to back strikeouts for Bednar. He can show you 88 mile an hour cutter. That one at 78. Right center, Bradfield going over. Oh, oh nice oh, running man. catch. Does he cover ground? We, we, we've talked about it up here, guys, and our vantage point is so different because you see the entire field. And off the bat, that ball's in the gap. Absolutely. But Bradfield, we talk about his ability to steal bases, but man, he is a plus defender already out in center field. 
We certainly wish you and your son the best of luck as this one has popped up to right field. Isaiah Thomas coming in. And three quickies, strikeouts, and the next one to Bradfield. This one on the ground. This is a foot race. Bradfield going. The throw, and boy, what a job wow. by Scotty DeBrule. He threw it before Hancock was ready, and they're able to get the speedy Bradfield. Give a lot of credit to Luke Hancock right here and the communication that he and DeBrule had. He sees it, recognizes it. Waits until he sees Hancock's eyes. Bradfield's safe. How about this inning? How about this inning, Will Bednar? Needed a quick one. De Brule, the second baseman, and he rolls one past Rocker. Tough That's play. Another That's another tough play. Thought maybe Parker Nolan would go with the backhand, but the glaring difference between Vanderbilt's defense and Mississippi State's has shown itself here. Giving away outs again. Two as he does strikeouts. That's yep. a good pitch there, and he's gone. Like Skinner's looking for something off speed right here, looking for the slider, and Kamar just. There is no relation between that guy, Kellen Clark, and the former great Will Clark. He strikes out, back to back punch outs for Rocker. He's now got four. Looking to make it three in a row. One and two, and he will. That ball in dirt. There is the throw down. So he strikes out three in a row. It's a slow roller, really tough play. Charged, and that's how they are winning a College World Series title. Think about the plays, the last three plays. They're all a half step or less that Vanderbilt's getting thrown out. It was the ground ball to the right side. DeBrule makes the play, then the ground ball that Bednar. Jones got one to hit, and instead he rolls it right to the first baseman. Bednar, no hits. And he's going to try to hustle this one out. That time a charge oh and a bobble, and it happened again. Rowdy Jordan was going to put pressure on Carter Young. It went in the glove, and unlike last night when it got stuck in the glove, this one popped out. Yeah, this one pops up. It pops out of the glove, and he keep them off the board. Allen, that's into right field. That's a hit. Jordan steps to second, and he'll put the brakes on there. Tanner Allen now, Palmer, 61 runs batted in. He swings at one in the dirt, and he is gone. Rocker picks up strikeout number six. Up the middle, and it's through. Hancock, an 0-2 delivery. Rowdy Jordan's in, and it is now 5-0 State. 4-0, sorry, 4-0 State. 0-2 single from Luke Hancock. Back up the middle, Tanner delivers. And it's 5-0 State. Another two-strike RBI. What's the thing that Mississippi State does with two strikes? Short enough, put it in play. Yeah. Put it in play, they pound their chest. The end of an era here with Kamal Rocker coming off. And he'll get a standing ovation. State's outscored Vandy 18 to 2. And now the bases are loaded. 0 2 to Skinner. Swings and he misses at it. Right down the middle, strike three. Clark with his spat on his shoulder goes back. Chance there with the bases loaded to really add on. And this first pitch swinging deep to left field. Skinner going back. Running catch. Braylon Skinner tracks it down. C.J. Rodriguez denied. That's the script for Mississippi State. It's his second inning in a row that the first pitch of the inning got it out. And, and figure out what it means in Starkville. And if they can win this thing, He'll be a hero in that city forever. Got him swinging. He has not given up a hit through five. What an effort from Will Bednar tonight. That's a fair ball. Tanner Allen to first. He hits second, and he is putting the brakes on. He was running full speed, but a double for Allen, his second hit of the night. It can hit. They keep this up also. Swing and a miss. When you think about other teams still have reunions when they come back here. Two and one. That one is deep to left. And now coming in is Skinner. He's calling off Rowdy Jordan. 
hit is what gets him taken out of it. Nice play, James. Oh, have they been great defensively? They have. I mean, it just seems with the body language and the actions of them playing that they want the ball hit to them, each one of those infielders. Sims, nine outs. Yeah. Center field, Jordan. Done. Yes, sir. Through six innings. This ball is poked to left field off the bat of Logan Tanner. It's gone. Logan Tanner home run. Mississippi State adds another. And another step closer to a World Series championship. Tanner's 15th of the year, second hit of the night. Tell you what, he used his legs to hit this ball out of there. He went down and got it. Say all you want. Watch the legs work here on this spin. Just goes down. Into right field. That's going to get down. Scotty DeBrul delivers a hit. Runner goes. No call from Perry Costello. The throw down, but that was apparently ball four. It was. That was ball four? Apparently it was. How was that not a strike? I believe that ball was right down the middle. You at home, where you tell the, us. Where did that miss? This ball is to right center field and deep. Bradfield going back, looking up. See you later. Three run home run from Kellum Clark, and it's a blowout. Oh, Hail State, 9 nothing. Well, we said it from the beginning. Kellum Clark. Loves his fastball, and the kid's future is bright. He's got it. That's a ball four. Jordan gone. 87 for Murphy. At the third baseman, and that'll do it. We'll take a timeout. Nine nothing state. Now you got a chance for that tonight, for sure, given who's on the mound. The sophomore Landon Sims on the mound. Strike three, Sims picks up number one. With 26. Slow roller. And taking it himself with <laughs> Sims. Spencer Jones swing and a miss. Welcome to the game, Landon Sims. Join the party. Six outs away. Nation games. But you're dealing with a red hot Mississippi State team. That's going to get down and it's going to get by Isaiah Thomas. Luke Hancock to second. That's not a good look right there. And I don't care what the score is, you still. That's hard hit. Smothered over there by Keegan. That's what he's got to do as a first baseman, just knock it down. And they pick up out number two. Squared up, but Bradfield takes three steps back, and he's there for the third out. This one to left, and it should be playable. Skinner keeps cutting in front of Jordan. <laughs> Young, and that's going to break up the no-hitter. He sends one in a center field, and the first hit of the night for Vanderbilt comes in the eighth with one out. He shook off a couple of the signs. And he put it down to the lefty, and he delivered. And he yeah. threw it down in the zone. Yep. You know, Carter Young has struggled. Mm, that's a good pitch. Strike three from Sims. Leneve is done. Sims third. A bit more crossfire tonight from Landon Sims. He misses his spot, but he still catches the plate. No, but you have to wait because you're not sure when Perry Costello is going to make the call. On the ground, a second easy one there for DeBrule, and they are three outs away from a World Series championship. And that one is going to get through. Lane Forsyth, three hits last night. He picks up his first here. One and two, right field, and that one is caught in right field, and that will end it going out and winning a natty and knowing this may be the last time that this group collectively is together. They are two outs away. This just wipes away anything that there was any question about it. Punch out right there. And 
pushes a bunt to third. James to first. He's out. What a way to end it. And what a way to end a drought. Mississippi State, the national champions, destroying Vanderbilt 9-0.